Welcome. So now you want to know how you can register on TSEX and join some of our courses. Well, in order to join any of the courses on TSEX, you will need to have registered with your email ID. If you have already done so, you can sign in, join the course and log in. But if you have not done so, this video is for you. In order to be able to join the TIS course, you will have to be able, to, you will have to look at this site at the top bar and focus on this word register. So click on register and it will take you to this page that talks about creating an account. Here, please note that they will again remind you that if you have already got an account, you can just sign in, click on the link and sign in. Creating this account means that you will have to look at typing in the first name and the last name. Please note, please type the name as you want on your certificates because all no, the digital certificates will use these and the tags that you put in. Here, you have to use an idea of whatever uh, you want as to be visible to the public. Now, please note that this has to be unique. And if there is some other name that comes in with this, then it will not allow you to save. I will use this because I know that there is already uh, an ID with this name. You will have to enter your email ID. And then you will have to type in your password. Uh, it has to be something that you know and you remember. Uh, this can be any password. It doesn't have to belong to your ID at all. Uh, it can be any password at all that you want to put in. This is a unique password to the site and that's what you will have to type in. So I'm trying to remember what is it that I want and I am pressing in that ID. Your country, uh, your, all of these are optional to uh, type in. You could talk about, you don't have to present it. You don't have to write your year of birth, etc. But it would be preferable if you did. Because this is an institutional ID, I'm not writing in all of these. There is also a service code at the bottom which talks about review the terms of service and honor code. If you click on it, it will tell you and take you through the fact that this platform has an honor code. It describes the rules of online conduct, which means that you will not use any kind of negative language. You will not insult anyone that we on our part will not share your data set with others. Uh, and we will allow for complete anonymity of any data and so on and so forth. You can read all of these, but primarily the fact is that we guarantee that we will offer certificates uh, for some courses, but we do not offer certificates for all courses. And we very clearly state which courses have certificates or not. And that once you have put in all of these, you should not be, uh, you know, you can withdraw from any of the courses, you can do whatever you want in terms of unsubscribing from us, etc. So once you've read the honor code, you come back to this page. And if you notice, it is on two different tabs, it, the honor code opens up on a new page. And you must agree to the TIS service codes, you will not be able to create an account without agreeing to it, right? it will say that you must agree to the TSEX terms of service and honor code. So I will go ahead and click on agree and I will then create an account. Now see, it will tell me that RTICT demo-02 belongs to an existing account and try again with a different name. And this is what the public username has to be. It has to be unique. It can't be the same thing. So if you do get this kind of error message, please type in with a different ID or for instance, try hyphen, try 
um, try these elements where you are uh, using uh, underscore or hyphen. You cannot use spaces. You cannot use any such thing as, um, you have to use either a hyphen or an underscore or numbers. So you can even type in some other number. In this case, I'm going to type in RTICT TIS because I know this ID does not exist. And I'm going to uh, TIS ID and I will just use that and I will create an account. Right now, what did I do, which was wrong? I typed all of this without the underscore. And that is important to remember that you must have no spaces. You can have underscore, which is what I'm typing, or you can have an hyphen, which is the other thing. And you can have numbers and you can have letters. That's all that you can have, nothing else, right? So that is important to remember. Once you do that, you can create an account and it will tell you that you're almost there, but it also shows you something else. It tells you that we have sent you an email message to the RTICT that you registered with, with instructions for activating your account. Please check your spam folder if you have not received the thing. So how will you do that? I have my mailbox open out here and I have got a new mail out here. It comes from this site, which is called TISEX, right? This is the mail ID and it tells me action required, activate your TISEX account. I will click on it and here there is a link. It tells me you're almost there. Use that link to activate your account and join our courses and you will not be able to log back into your account until you have activated. So while you can explore courses right now, you will not be able to activate it till you have done this link. There is an expiry date for the link, so you must be trying to do this almost immediately. That's it. You are now on the page. You have successfully activated your account. This will not show you any other time. The next time you log into the account, this green bar will not be visible, but you can explore courses, archived courses, and check out what you want to explore, what you want to be a part of, and see whether you want to understand something and you want to be a part of any other program, right? This is all that it takes to register and also perhaps to enroll and engage.